What's up, big risotto? Yeah, my streams seem to be lasting on average about four hours these days. My um, my endurance seems to be improving. You're you're a fellow streamer. I'm sure you'll know. You you missed the farts. Yeah, I missed the farts too. I, I I said to everyone, I'm so busy with like uploading everything to YouTube every day, streaming on Twitch, working a nine to five job. When I get some um. When I get a couple of seconds, like I've I've got some time off leave in the next month or so, I'll I'll get it sorted then. I promise. Or this weekend, if I can be bothered. But enough of the boring stuff. Let's have a look. See what's going to happen in this game. We've got Big Grogu playing as Japan. Now, Grogu is a fantastic player. Don't get me wrong. Grogu is a really good player. Don't get me wrong. But he's like he to me. He's the most boring Japan player at the at the top end of the like in the top Elo sort of say just like two K Elo plus out of all the Japan mains out there he is the most boring one. I'm sorry, he just is. Is he good player? Yes, yes. Is he good with Japan? Yes. Is he boring with this sieve? Yes. He's not as um he's no Chef Sadis boring. Yeah, I'd rather watch Hunger than Grogu or Chef. <laughs> yeah, I, as I say, Chef, you said it. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at his deck. Well, he's, he's got a lot of decks. He's even got a 300 food deck, so maybe. Maybe there's hope. But that hope dwindled rather quickly because uh, he's now shipping free fishing boats. He's gone for a starting market and two shrines. He's going up against uh, Jojo, Jonathan Joestar. Uh, that's an anime reference. Which uh, is uh, an anime I've only just started watching and I'm uh, thoroughly enjoying it. Anyways, enough on the anime. I, I need to start a YouTube on just on anime. Like, honestly, like I wish... I, I watch those... Um, YouTube people, uh, they have hundreds of thousands of views every every video. I'm like, they they just get to watch fucking anime, anime for a living. I'm like, that's like my dream job. Playing video games or watching anime is like my favorite thing. <laughs> and watching anime is even less hassle than playing video games. It's even it's even easier. God damn. <laughs> Anyways, enough about that. Uh, Jojo is uh, Revnax la Lackey. Known as Senor B, Senor Bay, Bay Bay, Senor Boo Bay, Boo Boo, Boo B, Boo B, B Boo, Senor Bo. He is a good player. He's like a twenty one hundred Elo player. I think he was earlier today. He was he was about twenty one hundred Elo. I'm not sure what Elo he's sitting at at the moment, but it's probably around that. Um, plays Brits pretty much exclusively. Can he play other sieves? I have no idea. Ready. Nice, um, cheeky 115 XP here. No doubt he'll be cracks on that. There we go. Extra 15 XP. So that's 130 XP treasure. Although I think it's two maraudings. So it's basically it's basically 145 XP treasure. That's pretty good. That's pretty insane, right? 145 XP treasure. Which lackey? Yeah, he's got a few. He does have a few. Oh, okay. Grogu's going for Tory Gates. So, you know, not as boring as I suspected. No um, Heavenly Kami build by the looks of it. So, just the one fishing boat so far. Picking up some treasures of his own, getting some food, some XP. Ooh, everyone over to food. Okay, five shrine wagon coming in. Okay, tease me, tease me, tease me. Why has he got everyone on food? Literally everyone on food right now. He's got his shrines on gold. I mean, he's got his samurai out. The samurai is not as fast as like it can be because like obviously we've seen like We've seen why the, the the fast age up Tory Gates is so so good because uh, like 
this samurai would just completely destroy any age up outpost or uh, barracks going down, etc. Um, and look, he's been forced to play defensively here. And that's just that's that's just through the threat of this early samurai. Like that's that's what that does to you. But Brits can have uh Oh, do you see what happened to the camera there going over this over this cliff? That is some nice looking grass. Look at that graphics on that baby. We've got yellow, green, and brown grass. And, and and a bit of um a bit of pavement, a bit of concrete in there. Interesting. Uh, not sure what that's about. We've got some uh, footpaths on the top of this uh, uh, this hill here. Um, yeah, there's not there's not much going on, but we'll spy on these guys. That we're spying, we're spying. They can't see us. We're Frodo Baggins on our way to Mordor. We're hiding from the Eye of Saruman. Look at that. That's a screenshot right there. That's that's a fucking that's a that's a thumbnail right there. That is a thumbnail right there. Do you know what? I'm going to print screen that motherfucker. I want that. Anyways. Anyways, enough of that. Cinematic line? Yeah, hell yeah. I'll give you, I'll give you guys everything, man. This isn't just an Age of Empires 3 channel. So we had uh, five Shrine Wagons, followed by 600 wood, followed by 600... No, sorry, uh, 600 coin, then followed by 600 wood. What's he done with that 600 gold, you may ask? Well, it just looks like he's uh, just made a load of musketeers. Honestly, he could have aged up. Really could have aged up with the amount of um, res he was stacking at one point. Just everyone on food. Consider going down. Ooh, Diamo coming in. Okay. 24 bills on about eight shrines. Jojo on 38. Oh my god, it's seven minutes and this civilization has 38 bills. Andy's probably got steel traps already. Andy's going for double racks. Guys, how can you say that this civ is bad? 39 villagers at seven minutes. No one will ever convince me this is a bad civ. Brits played Brits play, uh, played well by a strong player is a scary sieve. Brits Brits is a scary sieve if you know what you're doing with it. Okay, 700 wood, 600 wood, four vills. So very very classic build there. Instead of the five vills, it's the four fills these days. Uh, followed up by 700 coin. Uh, is he putting a stable down? He's got double racks. No stable yet. So he's not He's not queuing any musketeers. So it could be a it could be a fortress timing here. Okay, lots of manners going down. Both these guys playing a little bit similar by the looks of it. Grogu should be pushing, but unfortunately he doesn't know. Uh, what's going on, so he has to kind of guess. Oh, and he's making units as well. That feels bad. And that feel oh yeah, this feels really bad. He's not he's not pushing with this. Um and I think just the threat, just seeing those units, um, it kind of imprints into your brain that your opponent is pushing you and making massing units. Um can you shut up by the way? I heard I, I was talking then. Thank you. Okay, he is now pushing, which is good. Uh, Brits don't have a fast age up option, so he's got plenty of time to push in here and take full advantage. No GMT, so has got no fast age up options. He's aging up with the Admiral of the Ocean Sea, so there's not going to be any longbows or tomahawks that are going to be popping. He's on 47 vils, man. 47 vils, and he's going to get a, he's going to be aged up by like 10 minutes. Hi, ya, this Civ man. Okay, Grogu needs to see if Grogu can. Okay, yeah, the longbows are going to be super annoying. So he can't. He can't go. Just having that small batch of longbows literally means he can't stay and siege these barracks, which is really what he kind of wants to do. He wants to inflict some decent damage, but 
He's not going to stand and fight too long. These Ashigarus, even though they're pretty damn tanky right now. Minutemen call, TC Fire, Villager Pools, all that sort of good stuff is uh, going to mean he's going to lose. And look at this. He's got the same amount of mass, but he's got way better eco. He did lose a few villagers there. He did lose actually quite a few villagers, I think. I think he was on 47 vills or something. So he lost probably like five vills, five, six vills. Now, now a dock's going down. And the Admiral of the Ocean Sea, I believe it gives 300 wood and a caravel. So Brit player going super greedy. Putting down a cheeky dock. Ready. Now, aging up with the agent of the Cavo is actually big brain because if you see your if you see Japan, especially if you're like Grogu, you see that in your deck. You know he hasn't gone Heavenly Kami. You you'll know that for sure. You're pretty much certain he hasn't gone for 300 food because he didn't age up that fast. So you, by by process of elimination, you know he's gone free fishing boats. Um, but on this map, it's just a complete guessing game of where um, his boats went to. I think uh, the the south side, um, I think their flag always starts on the left and the north side, their flag always starts on the right. But obviously you, you can switch that. So um, li little tip for you there, little tip for you there. You know, those flags will always spawn here and always opposite your flag. So um, if you're going to put a caravel frigate down for to try and you know kill some of them, um, that's the side you want to go but like I said you can switch it if you're if you're if you're a big brain player and you're not you know that your opponent might do something like that you might go for the cheeky switch and uh, play those uh, interesting mind games so okay Bushido principles coming in he's on the Japanese consulate veteran must pushing in with that classic two falcon net timing Doc's producing some boats. That's his That's his contingency plan. He obviously wants to push in before he sees those flaming arrows. And uh, he knows the flaming arrows. Look at the score difference already. Minutemen pop in. Flaming arrows pop in. But where did they pop from? Oh, they popped from the Dymo. Uh, but they popped way too close. What was he thinking? Oh, Grogu. You're supposed to be a 2100 ELO player. What are you doing? He's going to win this fight regardless, but he could have cleaned up with his two flaming arrows intact. So that was a that was a massive loss for him. Shipment for a shipment when flaming arrows flaming arrows counter two uh, two falconets could have gone much better. He's got some side musketeers. Chilling willing. Can't run away from Ashigaru's big boy. These guys have 4.5 speed. You fat bastards only have 4 speed. These musketeers go in raiding. Grogu uh, struggling with the shrine mass here. He's now forced to ship two cherry orchards as well because he's about to run out of food. Oh, some interesting path in there. Took a lot of damage. Look at these guys, 41 ranged attack. 41 ranged attack. It's an age free unit. <laughs> I know it's being buffed by the Dymo, but you compare that to 27 ranged attack from a veteran Musk. No wonder, no wonder they're winning that fight right there. No wonder. Okay, score gap's closing, though. Maybe we've got ourselves a nice game. And second dot going down. Look at this. Not sure where these must came from. But they were sent from heaven. Oh, cheeky Jojo going for a house of Oldenburg here. Oldenburg is a, quite a popular um, native TP to get. It's uh, got a really, really good big button, which is, um, I believe, a hot air balloon. Um, which is, uh, yeah, really, really good because a hot air balloon is, you know, it's, it's a whole card. Right? Having a hot air balloon is a whole card. 
Um, so it's, I think the, the temporary ones is an age one card and the permanent hot air balloon is an age four card. So this is essentially like having an age one card for free and it only costs 200 resources. Nice. Sees that early. Keeps these uh, keeps these guys alive, which I saw one of them was called Bruce Bruce Lee there. Bruce Lee. Maybe that's a uh, Grogu Smurf account. Nice. Got a decent amount of Ashikaris over here. He wants to get in the fight. But the three Falconets, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You Shipping eight Ashigaris is not the play. You definitely want to reship those two Flaming Arrows. Has he shipped? No, it's because he's he's max popped. He definitely wants to cancel that. You've seen. You see the. You see the. Musketeers, sorry, the, you see the Falconet. It's like, what's your... No, Grogu, what is he doing? I mean, you might as well kill that, right? Nice, he does. Classic Musk Falc from Brits. Always said this. Brits are the best Musk Falc civ in the game. They always have been. And it always will be. Best Musk Falc civ in the game. We've got some Shinobis. Oh, okay, so that's his plan. He's going for some Yabusami archers. He's diving in, but I think you missed your moment there. Using uh, his Dymo here as a pseudo stable. Those Ashigars get cleaned up. And uh, thanks to the map pack, that is Mana Houses. Okay, he's diving in. These uh, Yabusamis do a decent amount of damage. They take one Falk out. Can he take the second one? He needs to take it out desperately. He does. Now the Culverins are pretty useless here. They'll do some damage versus Yumi, but he's not going to be too worried about it. Not especially when he's got 41 range attacks. Ashigarus. God damn, they are the king of musketeers. 247 HP. Another 45... HP and another 10 damage compared to these veteran masks. Oh, is Dymo's going to down? Dymo goes down. Get your asses back down to 37 ranged attack. And that was unfortunate. Losing your Dymo like that. Hiya. 5k score down. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Jojo thinking uh, maybe he's got the got the dub here, but uh, we've got more Ashigaru's coming in. Thank you very much for the follows. Okay, we've got some Yumi in the back here. Nah, it's a nice eight Ashigaru backup coming in. But Jojo is now on three, almost three TCs, and he's on double dock. So he's essentially potentially five TC booming. He's got five villager booming going on right now. Whilst Grogu's nowhere near max max shrines. But the score has dwindled very quickly then. Now there's only 2k score in it. Maybe Grogu's got a chance here. I'm not sure what's going on down here. We've got a big hot air balloon. Say hello, boys. Talanus, if you're watching, for the love of God, give us an attack hot air balloon of some degree. I like how he has... I like how he dies before he lands. I'm not sure why that was the case. Maybe he had a heart attack up there or something like that. But for the love of God, let let us have some form of airship. I swear to God. <laughs> okay, Jojo being super annoying again. He want, He's dedicated to take that TC down. I think that's definitely worth it. Stop giving him that map control. There we go. Have some longbow in the back here, but they're not veteran. So he's not going to be too worried about those, those long bowmen. He's trying to get some shrines up now, and he's doing a good job, and he, his, uh, his macro's looking pretty good. This is not AoE steampunk <laughs> to have airships. No, no I know. I think I'm being a little bit overzealous when I'm asking for uh, airships. Not airships, but like maybe a hot air balloon that can... Uh, maybe give hot air balloons, like... 
give hot air balloons themselves a big button to do something. Um, like maybe they could have a spy function or, you know, they could drop something. Be kind of cool. But I get this isn't Command and Conquer. This is uh, Age of Empires 3. <laughs> They're observation balloons and were very common. Hey, look, look see, we, we've got a historian in the, uh, in the chat now. Nice. Brings back his explorer just to get the snare. But an easy way to get around that is to uh, drop the uh, the Ashigaru that was getting snared. You did actually see he retargeted after his first attack because he knew he was going to do that. So, um, yeah, it was a nice little time there. Now Ashigaru is going to run around. This is why they're basically cavalry at this stage and uh, why they always reign supreme as the best, cav uh, best musketeer in the game back in the old days because they have this 4.5 speed and it was just insane to try and catch up to them. Because you can't catch up to them. He sees those fouts and he smells blood. He's even put the speed tech on. So now these units, Ashigaris have 4.72 speed. And look how quickly they catch up. Going to be able to take down a Falconet. Maybe the second one as well. Loses a few Ashigaris, but well worth it. Wow, what a trade. Even a meal now. And Jojo, it is falling apart, big boy. Senor Bo. See you later, Senorita. Senorita Bo. Does have veteran longbows now. Oh, holy crap, can't see everything going on at the same time. I need to get that uh, super zoom going. Ooh. Going for some attack ships there. Wow, got loads of units over here as well. He's everywhere. Just pure Asagaru causing mayhem. Golden Pavilion is back to attack. In come those attack boats. Those, uh, you've got Matsumaru. Atake Boone. Atake Boone. Atake Boone. And uh, I think he just about keeps himself in the game. And I was about, I was looking at the score thinking, okay, that's, surely that's going to be good for Grogu. But Jojo's actually pulled away here. Jojo's actually pulled away here. And oh, we got some raiding cavalry coming in. But that castle should get built in time. Nice. And this is, this is going to frustrate things. Outpost trying to go down. Cavalry not realizing they could have raided some villagers there. A dot going down for Grogu. He's defending that water. Losing units of frigate coming on the left side. Those three boats have been MVP this entire game. They've been just chilling. That 14 Ashigarus. 19, no, it was a how many was it? 13 Ashigarus coming in. Very, very nice. Okay, two flaming arrows. This remass from Brits is pretty scary. He has had to put down a couple of mills now. There's literally no herds left on the map. But he does have the water on the left side. Does he have the water on the right side? It's not secure. He's going to get that outpost down. A couple of caravels coming out. Nice. A couple of castles coming down though from Grogu. So both these guys got just... This is Look at the scores as well. Holy cow. Some more flaming arrows getting built as well. This is uh this has turned out to be quite the game. Here we are thinking this was gonna be one hell of a boring match. Uh Grogu. Grogu, I, I promise I will eat my words. I will never talk badly about heavenly Kami builds ever again. Frigate coming in now. That could be the decider. Brits are fleeing for their lives. Frigate trying to kill the flaming arrows. They're going to do a fantastic job. Oh, the Royal William on 16 HP. It does look like he's securing this side of the map. He's desperately trying to build some castles. Grogu desperately wants to win this side. 
he's microing his boat, just trying to be as frustrating as possible. Keep it alive for as long as possible. Allow the castles to do as much damage as they can. Oh, those castles are going to hit hard. Boom. Now he wants to, wants to take it down back south again, but it looks like he's going to go bye-bye. Nice. But he does have those castles. So that's uh, pretty nice. Doing well over the left, left side, though. <laughs> this frigate desperately trying to get healed. Look how quickly, look how quickly those things get healed. Holy cow. Now, Ashugarus can kill them. He just needs to shoot them. Grogu, you just need to shoot it, son. No, he's, no, he doesn't look at the HP. No, he doesn't realize the HP. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What a plonker. What a willy wonker. Hey, it happens. 5k score difference. Jojo, 69 vils. Nice. For Grogu, let's have a quick look over at Jojo. 93. Wow, he's he only just now getting Sea Drill. That is a pretty late Sea Drill. Sea drill uh, for how long you had the uh, the Wangs. Well, look at this beautiful boy. It's like the SS Anne from Pokemon. Look at that thing go. Oh, that was kind of lucky because uh, they've been known. Those those boats like that have been known to um, mess up when they when they spawn there, but spawned right on top of each other. Okay, we've got a classic like uh, musk artillery fight going on here, and we've got stuff going on the on the water. Look how beautiful the water is, regardless of the cannibals going everywhere. Just look how beautiful the water is. Look how cool those dragons are at the front of those boats as well. Boom, 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 boom. One boat goes down. He didn't micro that because he's paying too much attention over here. He can't get his flaming arrows involved because the Colvins will win. It's going on over here as well. He's got one of those big boys, but a frigate and caravel coming in to save the day. But that frigate's only in half HP, so maybe not. Flaming arrows doing a fantastic job, micro in there. Oh! That was gaming. Now the Colvins are backing up. Now get the Flaming Arrows back in there. Grogu, well done. Still got two boats left. These castles still got triple castles over here. He's got some Yamaboshi. Just chilling. And he does clean up here. Wow. Holy crap. I would be getting out APM'd hard right now. Even got some Yamabushi. Swinging and a miss. Swing and a miss. It's neck and neck now. The score is neck and neck. Jojo has lost uh, like 10 villagers here. And I think most of them will be boats. And, and he's actually gobbled up pretty much all of the resources on the right side of the map. So is, is, is the water even worth getting outside of map control now? Um, I understand you want to fight for, map, for the map control, but there's no resources left, and there's not that many left on the, the left side of the map either. So, and, and Jojo pretty much gathered all of that. So he's done what he needed to do. Now it's his turn to put some mills down. But uh, Japanese people are far healthier than Westerners, so uh, they don't get wheat, they get rice. Um, not like us fat Westerners eating our bread, getting all fat and sassy. They live to a hundred and eat rice balls. But man likes his tiger bread. I know what I'd rather. Nice cheeky, cheeky pop against the flaming out there. Guys, are you enjoying this one? What elo does Grogu have? At least 2k. It's at least 2k. It's 
scores are still neck and neck. 1k. And oh, did you see the bounce shot? We saw a bounce shot from this thing. We saw a bounce shot from the ship, which took out the Culverin. Oh, ho. either clip that for Twitch or YouTube. Play it back. That was that was fantastic. Obviously, doesn't I da highly doubt it was deliberate. But it was, uh, regardless, still uh, absolutely hilarious. A bounce shot from his frigger. And just like that, he calls it. Does he really call it? Jojo calls it. Wow. Didn't expect that. You know, he had lots of infrastructure down. He was on 89 villagers. He had plenty of resources to make uh, more artillery. But there you go. He's still at a mine, but he calls it. What a fantastic game. Feels like he could have he could have uh, stuck it out a little bit more longer, but Ashigaru's back up to 40, 41 ranged attack. Imagine with their Dymo as well still alive. Hiya. What a fantastic game. 89 Vils compared to 70, but it was Max Shrine. He's got all the Japanese consulate, all the bits in there, the golden pavilion. Everything he needs. What a fantastic game. It had a bit of everything. We had some water fights, some land fights, some raiding. Even had uh, this beautiful cliff face here. I'm going to go back to it and we'll end the game like that. Spy on these longbows. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. What a beauty. Oh, look at the resources. I'm surprised uh, the gap was uh, only that much. I mean, that's still 5k resources or so at that point, which is huge at like 16 minutes of the game, but it was very tight by the end. 269 Ashi to 229 Musketeers. Ashigaras are so good. So, so good. I think they are pretty much still reign supreme for the cost factor. Um, for best musketeer, so definitely, definitely the sort of S tier musketeer, just because of that extra speed that they get.